Axle offset, brake space, what is it, how is it measured, and why is it important? Today, I'm gonna show you. Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises, and today I wanna go over what is axle offset, or brake space. It's really two different ways of saying the same thing. And what that measurement is, is gonna be a measurement from the face of the axle shaft to the face of the housing end. Now, it's not something that can be easily done, but it is something that can be easily done wrong. So I wanna go over the proper way to do it and give you a couple of examples of how not to do it. So as described, the measurement's gonna be from the face of the axle shaft to the face of the housing end. Now, the easy way to do it, if your axle has a access hole, you can actually just use standard tape measure and you wanna make sure that the axle shaft is completely installed. So you can't have a backing plate or a drum brake backing plate or a disc brake backing plate in the way of that measurement. It's gonna be incorrect. So that does need to be out of the way. And the axle shaft needs to be installed and tightened or torqued down. And once that axle is all the way down, we're gonna take that measurement. Now with the tape measure, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna come through the access hole and butt up against the housing end. And so from the face of the housing end to the face of the axle shaft, this measures 2.5, so two and a half inch. That's very common, that's actually the Curry standard, so we know that's correct. There's another way to do this. If you don't have the access hole, we can use a straight edge and a set of calipers. And what we want to do is, is we're going to butt up the straight edge against the housing end. And then we're going to use the calipers and pull from that, that straight edge out to the face of the axle shaft. So with your calipers zeroed out, we're going to pull from the straight edge out to the face. And you're going to get 2.5. That's the most important measurement there. So we're at 2.50, two and a half inches. Now, this could measure something different. Now, in a Ford 9-inch, 2.5 for the big bearing new style, or Torino as we've nicknamed it, is gonna be two and a half, that's common. For the early large bearing housing end with a half inch T-bolt, that measurement is most commonly 2.36, very close to 2.3, two and three eighths. So, that's why it's important if you do have a set of dowel calipers, it'll give you it down to the thousandth, right? So we're trying to get as accurate as possible. Another reason why this is very important is because brake packages are going to call out the offset, and it's gonna be specific to the brake package. So if this measurement is incorrect, your brakes may not line up correctly. Your drum may bottom out on the backing plate because you measured the axle offset incorrectly, or your caliper might not line up on the rotor because you have the wrong offset in the actual rotor and caliper package that you purchased. So when providing this information to Curry Enterprises, we can build you the axle shaft with the proper spacing and with the proper measurements to make sure that it is correct so that your brakes that you may already have work or the brakes that you want to purchase are correct moving down the road. If you have any questions in regards to how to measure this or what's the best method to do so, please give us a call, send us an email, or leave a comment below. You want to see more videos like this? Subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.